Hi, this is Digital Femme and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to continue talking about remote working. In the previous video, I had brought up the fact that I was a remote worker and I talked a little bit about the pros and cons and also the importance of having structure and routine. And I also mentioned a few jobs that could potentially give you remote work. Now in this video, I really want to talk about the importance of balance. Now, balance is so important no matter what, but particularly when you remote work. And if you want to know why I say that balance is really important when you are a remote worker, then please continue watching. Hi, I'm glad you stayed. So you want to be a remote worker or you started remote working or you are a remote worker. I am a remote worker and the reason why I chose to talk about balance in this particular video is because it really is so important. So most people who remote work usually do it at home. They find a place in their house, perhaps a home office or their kitchen table or wherever. Some people remote work in a co-working space or a cafe or they have the luxury to be traveling and perhaps remote work on a beach. However, if you find that you have a job that requires reliable internet and quiet so that you can really focus on what you're doing, then most of the time you will probably have or be in a home office. Often the ideal remote work position is that you have deadlines, you know your tasks and you have projects to do and you know when you need to deliver them and that is it. You don't need to be online nine to five or eight to four like you would if you were to actually walk into an office. Now for my particular position, I am a digital strategist for a marketing company. And I feel that although I have been signed on as a full-time employee that happens to be a remote worker because that's how I initially started with them. Anyway, I got on board working full-time for them. I find that I pretty much keep full-time hours. And honestly, that's kind of like, I mean, it pays the bills, but it's not exactly the ideal type of remote work for me. Oftentimes I need to be online at eight o'clock in the morning, my time, because they are in a different location and then we have meetings. And because of the role I have in the company, I often have quite a lot of meetings during the day, whether it's for clients or team members. I actually worked a lot more hours when I was freelancing with this company because it was just so much to do. And that is how I realized that balance is so, so, so important. One thing is I have a urban jungle studio. And for many of you that don't know that, I am one of those people that love plants and I have actually acquired quite a number of plants that if you look at the studio space that I'm in, it's really like an urban jungle. And ever since I started working with this marketing agency, a few of my plants died. Why? Is because prior to working with this marketing agency, I was a remote worker and all I knew is that I had deliverables, I had deadlines, and I delivered on time. I was able to wake up when I wanted to, which is I really ideal if you're a remote worker and take the time to go over my plants every day, clean them, spend time with them, pay attention, meditate. And it was wonderful. So ever since I started freelancing with this marketing agency, I had to actually have meetings at seven o'clock in the morning, sometimes six in the morning, my time, which is kind of ridiculous. But anyway, that's how it was in the beginning. And unfortunately, I had plants that were in small containers that prior to working with this company, I would make sure to check their um, the, the moisture level of the soil every two to three days because I could because that was my routine. But then when things got really busy, I no longer was able to do that. And unfortunately, they really dried out to the point of I couldn't save them. In addition to that, I am not a morning person. So the fact that and this is why I chose to be a remote worker. I chose to be a remote worker and to be a consultant because I got to choose my hours. I was able to, along with the clients that I had, come up with a deadline date that was suitable to me, especially, and the client. 
And that's just how I rolled for quite a long time. The fact that I'm not a morning person and I had to get up at these ridiculous hours for meetings and then work till like 11 o'clock at night just to create presentations or proposals and, and stuff like that, it was really taking a toll on me. Like it really, really was. I liked it though because in a way I was losing weight. Why was I losing weight? Because I wasn't eating the way I normally would have. Literally, I would just continue working and forget to eat, forget to drink water, sometimes forget, sometimes just have the same cup of coffee in the morning and not even top it up. And that was because I, for about a few months, I ended up working at a co-working space in this building. So it, there wasn't really a kitchen involved. So that was a good thing. I ended up like losing weight and that was really great. But in terms of some plants died and I just wasn't getting enough sleep. And then I was obviously getting really cranky. But when the opportunity came for me to become a full-time employee, I was hesitant because it's something I do not want to do, even though it gives you, you know, like benefits, health benefits and whatnot. Anyway, I am a full-time employee now and I made a promise to myself that I am going to be balanced. So I still get up. Uh, for eight o'clock meetings, sometimes 730, but that's not often. So that's really good. So I make sure to have a cutoff time and I make sure to really have time for myself. I still don't like waking up early in the morning. Yes, uh, eight o'clock, attending eight o'clock meetings is early for me. Uh, if I have an eight o'clock meeting in the morning, I end up, I usually wake up at 730 in the morning because anytime sooner is just no, like it just, and not only that, I more, I am a night person. So technically I've always been comfortable sleeping between like one, two, two in the morning. That's just how it has always been. And it does take a toll after, like after, like on Fridays, like Thursdays, I'm usually, I'm starting to feel really tired. And by Friday, I'm really, really exhausted because I'm going against my regular I, I, I don't know, my, my regular circadian rhythm. And that's another thing. So when you are a remote worker, you get to choose your hours, hopefully, because it's hours isn't really dependent on the quality of work you do. I mean, it depends on your arrangement with a client. If you are paid a retainer, or if you get paid hourly, or if you get paid per project, then that's, that's, that's up to you. That's up to you and, and the client. But the ideal, if you're a remote worker, is that the client doesn't dictate your hours. The only thing that's important is the quality of work you do, and then that you deliver it on time, just as the client and you had agreed upon. And that is it. So I am still adjusting to this type of remote work, but you are a full-time employee and it's, it's really like a lot of hours, not just online, but having to always be staring at a screen. And people say, well, if you're a remote worker, isn't that what it is? You, you, you use your laptop and access the internet. Uh, yes, yes, that's, that's so true. However, you are not staring at a screen like me for sometimes, what, eight hours to 10 hours straight. And that's how it's been. Prior to when I was a remote worker, uh, freelancing for other clients and being a consultant, there was no way I would stare at a screen for like four hours on end. Like, absolutely not. Because like I said, I had a pro I had projects, I had deliverables. I would do like maybe three hours. Um, one day I would break it up to an hour here and an hour there. And that's just how it is. Prior to working for this marketing agency, I made a lot of money. I, la I made a lot of money hourly and I was paid retainer. So that's what I wanted to discuss is that balance is really, really, really important. And you really if you are in a type of situation that I'm in, that you are a remote worker, but you are required to be online and you're actually looking at a screen like eight hours or, or more sometimes, 
uh, then you really have to make sure you stay hydrated. Try to get some, what is it, blue light glasses or an anti-glare uh, screen. You really need to find time to step away from the computer at least once a day and maybe go outside and take a walk. Easier said than done. I wish I could do that, but literally there are times or months when I would not be, go out for two weeks straight. And sure, I have weekends, but actually weekends, I'm pretty much exhausted and my eyes are just so tired from being on the screen for five days longer than eight hours that I just pretty much zone out and just stay in my bed <laughs> and just stare at my plants. So that's really all I wanted to say about this video. I don't know if it was maybe more of a rant Hopefully it didn't come off as that. And hopefully what you got from this video was that if you are a remote worker and even if you're not, you really have to make sure that to take care of yourself and, and be balanced and make sure that you also get to take care of the things you need to take care of that is not work like plants. Make sure you get water, uh, you know, just take care of yourself. So people think that, oh, I'm a remote worker and it's it's so easy peasy and it can be it really can be but again it depends on the situation and especially now with this covid thing and a lot of people have transitioned from going to an office and now needing to be at home they utilize zoom so i don't know how that transition is going and then especially if people have to homeschool or you know they're living with a spouse or a partner that also has to stay home because they're no longer able to go to a brick and mortar place to work then and that's also an issue too. So my heart goes out to you. I'm really fortunate that I get to live alone and it's just my time, but my time with team members and with work. Anyway, if you found this video interesting, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and consider subscribing. Now, if you notice, I've noticed anyway that I'm doing this video and I'm kind of like mumbling. It's hard to for my words, this is a Friday evening late. It's after 10 o'clock at night. I'm just super, super tired. And I actually stopped everything around, I guess, quarter to five this afternoon. I went to my bedroom just for a different scenery and I literally fell asleep. And I had just woken up maybe 30 minutes ago. So that's how, I guess, how tired I was. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, do consider subscribing and I'll talk more about remote work and some other things as well. But please, wherever you are in this world, have a great day, have a great evening and remember, please stay balanced. Okay, bye-bye.